What's good guys, so YC Legends back with another video. In this video guys today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically make your game like somewhat more viral or like how to add action to your game basically by adding NPCs and like a spawner for them. Let's get into the video now and I'll show you guys how to do this. So if you want to add like an MP NPC spawner, basically NPCs are like players, non-playable characters, that's what it stands for. You could say it's kind of like bots. Like it's like players controlled by bots, it's not real. I'm gonna show you guys how to add them to your game so like your game will look more lively. Act like there's like more players or some. And like it could be more engaging too if you figure out how to script the NPCs to attack players and stuff. And I'm gonna make a spawner for them too to make your game more interesting so they all spawn in the same location. Just like normal players and stuff. Let's start now guys. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your studio, you wanna go to your game, then go to model. And then what you want to do over here is you want to go to the spawn over here and add a spawn location. So this is your spawn location. You can make it transparent or whatever. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to just keep it the way it is. Maybe I'll make it a bit smaller like this. But besides that, it's now good. Do whatever you want to your spawn location. And after that, what you want to do is you want to get some NPCs, like some players. So like, for example, how about we make a rig of myself in Roblox? In order to do that, you have to go to the avatar, rig builder, and then you could generate rigs. So you can make like characters and stuff, or you could just use a toolbox. For example, I could just make an avatar myself. How about I do R6, and then I'll put my avatar in. And then that's me. So I can name the rig my username. So you could give them fake users' names if you want to make it like more realistic not you don't have to put any name you could just keep it like this I mean not like that but keep it like this that means there's no name but I'm gonna just put my username so that's iGamer the developer you guys could add me if you want but I'm probably not gonna add back and yeah iGamer the developer shoot I made a typo like this all right now we chilling and maybe I miscalculated maybe we should use a bigger spawn location let's make it bigger and yeah once you get your first character down, just add a few more or like as many as you want. How about I use this new NPC over here? I'm gonna just remove all the scripts though. Actually, there's no scripts. And we could just give like a username for this. How about we just name it like Builderman? Okay, and that's kind of tough. All right, now we got two characters. How about we add some more? How about you, we use the Rig Builder? Could use the R6, I guess. And how about we try a Block Avatar? And this is our character. How about we name it blank 0012. It's a very tough username, I know. And let's add a few more. Okay, so I added five different characters. Let's take a look now. We got me, I gave it a developer. Then we got Builderman. Then we got blank 000, no 0012. The fourth character here is Roblox. You know who he is. And the fifth one is the fake Builderman. The real Builderman underscore zero zero one that's pretty cool guys so now we got five characters now what we have to do is we gotta script them to respawn first if they die so let's do that now we're gonna add a script and now copy these lines into your script let me zoom in and now we're gonna paste it copy this into your script and yeah basically the script what it's doing is that if the player dies the humanoid so make sure all your meshes are humanoid at first, all your characters and stuff, and they all are humanoids. If not, then my script won't be compatible with your thing. You would have to change this and stuff. So basically, they're saying that if the humanoid, if the NPC, the health is less than one, then what we do is we clone the character. Basically, we're, we're making them respawn. And we also remove like their old parts too, like they die. You know how they die? We remove the old parts and we put them on a new thing, and it respawns. So it's called cloning the character as you see over here. This is how you clone your character and what you want to do is you want to add the script into all of the NPCs. How about we rename the script to respawn first. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add it to each character, okay? We're adding to iGamer, Roblox, the fake Builderman. Actually, no, blank, then fake Builderman. But yeah, once you guys get all the respawns into it, this is how it should be. And now notice let's say I add a sword to myself if I kill them they're all gonna respawn so I'm gonna show you guys now I don't know why I type spawn but I'm gonna add a script I'm gonna add a sword and now if I join in 
You see, I got. Oh, I have two swords already. Damn. Aside from that, if I kill them right now, you can see I'm messing around, and then you can see another one respawn. It's hard to tell because I didn't move them really, so we're gonna have to script them for them to move and stuff. So how about we move it a bit? Uh, Builder man is kind of pissing me off, but you can see if I kill him right now, he's gonna come back here. You see, like he respawned right away. And if you want, feel free to add a weight to it, but I'm not going to do that for now. Okay, so now we got the thing set up. We got to make them, like, act like players. So, like, you know, like, those new players in the games and stuff, they be just, like, wandering around, maybe clueless, because obviously they want to, like, learn about the map and explore. We're going to make these characters do this, so let's script it now. All right, so this is the scripts you got to add. You got to add two scripts. Really, for the walking around script, I just took it from some model. On the toolbox because it's a really advanced script it takes a lot of time to script these script these so you might as well just take one from the toolbox just to save some time so i found this one and it's pretty tough to be honest it's really nice and yeah this is the script so that's the walking around script but i also decided to script a random jump and i did this too by the way you can see over here this is the script that i made basically it's a wild true script it's like a wild true loop and what it does is that it picks like a random time to jump kind of by using the math.random function. So this, it makes it like random. It gives you like a random number out of this scenery. And basically that number, it connects to the weight. So for example, if the math.random picks the number four out of the list, because it's saying three to six, then it's going to be wait four seconds and then it jumps. But then it's going to do the math again. And it could be like three seconds. You never know. And it could jump again. So you know what? I'm going to change it to two just to make it more fun. But and maybe to five but yeah this is what the math random does and this is how the script works and now i'm telling you all these characters are going to act like actual players and y'all might not be able to distinguish which one is the real player and which one is the npc let's take if this moving script works all right so we end and now you can see they're kind of moving we just gotta animate them and that's pretty much it so the animation is optional if you want to make it more realistic but you can see they're kind of moving now and they're really jumping a lot, to be honest, so you could change change it around. You can make them move more, find a script that they follow you and stuff like that if you want. And they kind of look like NPCs, though. I'm not going to lie. They look like Roblox characters. If we just animate them, like we could just say they're noobs or something like this guy over here. But he's Builderman, so I can't be saying that. But that's pretty much it, guys. You know what? Let's do one more test. How about we kill them from here? We should see that they respawn back here because... Earlier was a horrendous demonstration. This is a perfect chance for that now. You see, we killed him, and now he spawned back. So that's how you know the spawn work. And also, this this spawn it kind of works like a real player spawn too. So if I spawn there, without doing play here, I spawn with all these NPCs. So they're treating all these characters like real players, kind of. And yeah, guys, you can see I killed this guy and he came back. If I kill this guy, he comes back. Same thing for Builderman, and yeah. This is how you make an NPC spawn over here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you, if you guys do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.